First news, uh, China forces birth control on Muslims. In Xinjiang, China, the Chinese government is taking measures to slash birth rates among we the Uyghur Muslim population. Individual women have spoken out before about forced birth control, but the practice is far more systemic than previously known, according to an Associated Press investigation based on government statistics, state documents, and interviews with 30 ex-detainees, family members, and a former detention camp instructor. According to interviews and data, state the state regularly conducts pregnancy checks and forces intrauterine devices, or IUDs, uh, and sterilization and even abortion on hundreds of thousands of minority women. Even while the use of IUDs and sterilizations uh, has fallen across other parts of the nation, it is rising sharply in the Xinjiang province, which most of... Um, which is where most of the Uyghur ethnic minority resides. Um, those who fail to comply are punished with heavy fines or worse, even sent to detainment, AKA re-education camps. The birth control campaign has resulted in a climate of terror around having children. Wait, so is this uh, something that they're just targeting the Muslim community with, or is it like for, because some people are suggesting that they do this for everybody anyways, or is this something different? So, you know, China is famous for their one child policy, right? That they had in right. place for many decades. And then during that time, there was an exception where you could have two or three kids if you were in the countryside or an ethnic minority. And then that changed. So the one child policy, my understanding is that it's been lifted for everyone, but, um, uh, it's kind of reversed nowadays. So they're forcing ethnic minorities to get birth control of various kinds, including straight up abortions. And while promoting the birth rate among the um, ethnic Han, which are the more majority of China. Okay. So it's basically demographic engineering. Yes. Um. Again, some people keep, I don't know why in the Facebook post, a lot of people think that this is the, this is not targeting any group of people, that this is um, the same law for everyone, which is nonsense, right? Like, it's not. They're, they're specifically targeting um, certain minorities that they don't like. Ethnic and, minorities, yes. Yeah. And some people are thinking, like, oh, uh, like, for example, there's one guy, the top, the person with the most reaction, Nathan... Eel is saying that same law for everyone. I actually think we should have that law here and everywhere. What the hell is wrong? Oh with my people? god! A lot of people seem to be suggesting that on our on our atheist republic Facebook post, as if you know these people have no respect for freedom. That's so crazy. Like I understand wanting to have the global population not as large as it is or having you know the burden that's put on our planet not be so heavy and controlling that over time but you don't do that by, by force you don't do that by coercion you don't right. do that by threat of separating you from your family or paying fines that you have you have to pay several thousand dollars for having another child within the span of three days that's not right that's not freedom and if we if you do want to have less kids globally overall we do that through education i mean yeah the bill and melinda gates foundation have shown how effectively you could control population by sex education by giving uh condoms you know by it, it, you know a country's uh, gdp per capita growing has a great influence of reducing the number of children they mm -hmm. have work opportunities and none of this requires actually government um removing people's liberties and too much mm -hmm. government control over what people do this you know if, if you actually it, to if you want to control population it actually the most helpful ways is to give people more opportunities and educate them and give them more choices not to take the cho choices away yes. um you know so we have seen like we have seen that that's the most effective method i mean if you if the government has control over now, uh, you know, how many children you have, you know, that's a government that has way too much authority and probably so many other things in your life. Is that really, is that really the solution? You're, you're replacing one problem with a bigger problem.
Um, let me see what the uh, live chat thinks. Is anybody like it's so weird because this time that we posted this, it seems to be mostly support for China. Like usually it's a mix on this, but right now in the Facebook That's page, terrifying. There, yeah. I mean, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I was I want to say like um a few years ago, like one of my teachers said this and this actually stuck with me. Like uh child uh, uh people have more children in like poor families mostly because like they especially like in rural parts because they don't have like too much uh, access to entertainment or anything and they don't even have much education so it's often the case that their only way of having fun is to have sex and they don't have enough education to like uh, use any protective uh, measures like condoms or anything so it just results in more children so that you you can just uh, lessen the population um, by educating people yeah, and imagine if your government came in and forced you to get an abortion. Like, because that's their idea of what their country needs. That's, I, there aren't even words for how horrific and the depth of the violation of human rights that, that entails. Um, okay, yeah. Oh, earlier today, this is associated. Imagine Nawaz officially declared his jihad on the CCP over this stuff. And, oh. um, I'm on board. I'm on board for Imagine Nawaz's jihad on this subject because this is so wrong. I encourage, um, if you're interested in the stories we're talking about today, just a reminder, you can find all of the sources we're talking about in the description below. And yeah. I encourage everyone to read this full report by the Associated Press. It's long. They have a lot of statistics showing how birth rates have been engineered over the years. And um, there needs to be much more awareness about the depth of the problem problem that's going on there because there's many many layers to it it's not just the re-education concentration camps right it's also demographic engineering oh super chat from chris mm, oh, he had to cancel his patreon membership um uh it's a, well if it's if don't do a super chat if you're guys do not donate to us financially at all if you're struggling please do not do not do not do not you don't, you know, you can support us in many other ways, like sharing the video, liking, commenting. Do not support us financially if you're even struggling even a tiny bit, okay? But for the rest of you uh, who are not struggling, link to our Patreon is in the description. Thank you. But thank um, you, Chris. We appreciate yeah, it. If you yes. can't support financially, the best thing that you can do for us is to share, like our stuff, tell your friends about us, mm -hmm. and... um. Also participate in some of our calls to action that we'll be talking about shortly. But yeah, oh, share yeah. a lot of the causes that we're trying to raise awareness about. That's what's most important to me personally. But right. yeah, thank okay, you, though, Chris. We love you. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like. <laughs> bell and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not. We don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 